Welcome to question 2 of the 2015 Mathematical Methods Exam 1. In this video we will be looking at the solution and examination advice for this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. For question 2 we have let f dashed of x, the derivative, equal 1 subtract 3 divided by x, where x is not equal to 0. And for the new study design we'd probably be better off to say that x is greater than 0. And the question goes on to say that given that f of e equals negative 2, find f of x. And we know that the rule of f of x can be found by integrating the derivative. So we're going to integrate 1 subtract 3 divided by x with respect to x. So that's the same as the integral of 1 with respect to x minus 3 lots of the integral of 1 on x dx. So therefore, we know that f of x is going to equal, and the antiderivative of 1 is simply x, and then we have minus 3 times the antiderivative of 1 on x, which is log e of x. And then we're going to have a plus c term, which is a constant of integration. Next, we're going to use the information that f of e equals negative 2 to find that value of c. So we know that f of e would give e minus 3 times log e of e plus c and that is equal to negative 2 and now log e of e is simply 1 so therefore this line gives e subtract 3 plus c is equal to negative 2 and rearranging that to get c by itself we find that c would equal and adding 3 to both sides would give 1 and then subtracting e away would give c equals 1 subtract e so therefore, f of x, which is what we were asked to find, is going to equal x minus 3 log e of x plus 1 subtract e. So that is the answer to this question. And from the examiner's report, we can see that 51% of students got full marks for this question, with most students identifying that the antiderivative involved had a log expression, and then the evaluation of the constant of anti-differentiation caused some difficulties for students in this exam.